Okay, time for part two. And this is where I'm going to install the Z axis of the BD Tools Kit. Okay, so I'm going to put that there. And figure out how this goes on. Easy enough. Okay, so the scrub screw is a two millimeter. I'm just lining it up so it's the grub screw isn't with where the uh, the pin was coming out. And that's that for that. And it looks like so Billy provided different bolts in the kit, so use those. Actually, um, this part, I want to get it installed before I do anything else. And let's make sure everything fits. Not sure what the other two holes are for, though. Uh, these two right here. Uh, maybe it, it could be that this bracket might be for another lathe kit, and that's why I like that. I don't know. But I'm installing this part first, because I don't know that I had the clearance to get the uh, to get the screws in with this housing on. I'm not gonna reef it down. I'm just gonna get it snug so that I can make sure everything, everything lines up and it's not binding. And these are, are probably... So that doesn't fit. So these are probably also 6mm. Right here. Okay, so I'm going to push, uh, push the cross slide back, and I'm doing this part first because uh, this, the x-axis, it uh, sits on top of this, so I figured it'd be easier. And we're going to... And it looks like you have to take off the factory gear rack. I was just being lazy on not taking that off.
so you have to pull off the gear rack. There are four screws and then uh, three uh, roll pins. And then once you pull that off, you should be able to install this. And now this is fitting pretty good. Well, that didn't work out. So I'm just moving it just enough so that I can uh, get this in here. Okay, uh, battery died, so I had to go swap it out. And I forgot gloves the last time. So, uh, I loosened this carriage up so that I could move it. It seems like it's just slightly off though. I don't know if that's on that end. So I'm going to loosen that, see if I can't get it in there. Oh, there goes that. So I'm going to get the top. Okay, so that is just super tight. Um, shoot. Yeah, man, that is really tight. So it's probably best to just loose fit everything prior. Okay. Okay, so the fitment is very flush. So I'm gonna tighten that up. And you can see right here, this is where the gear rack was. And uh, this tab wouldn't fit because of the gear rack, which is fine to pull it off because you're not gonna, you know, it's not needed anymore. I'm just going to snug those.
Alright, so uh, since I had to loosen this, we'll tighten that back up. Oh, so go ahead and tighten this back up. And now everything, since this had the bearing in it, um, shouldn't see this move. This might actually move because I still have the gears. But, uh, that looks to be it though. Minus the stepper motor, which I have, I just need to wire, uh, wire the motor in. But other than that, um, so far it feels smooth. Not that this is a good test or anything. Um, So that nut right there, or that grub screw is two millimeter. Up here you leave this one in, but you pull this one out. And these, I think they were five, five millimeter. And then these larger ones that hold this, this plate in, or this whole assembly, those take six millimeter screws. And those screws right there, so I took off that one and that one so that I could get this plate on it that I just remembered I didn't tighten up. I'll tighten that up off camera, but um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, not a long process at all. Alright, I'll uh, grab the x-axis and finish this up minus the electronics. Thanks guys.